Terrence Crawford, man, there's a lot of talk about him. I, I know a lot of people say that a potential super fight down the road is going to be yeah. between you and him. What do you think about Terrence Crawford, man? Are you impressed by, by what you see? Definitely. Terrence Crawford can fight. Uh, you know, I watch his fights all the time when he fights. Um, you know, he's a boxer. You know, he's a guy who's willing to fight. You know, he's willing to stand there and trade with you if he has to. You know, he's a guy who gets it done, you know, and uh, he's a good fighter. But you could beat him, right? Yeah, I mean, if it happens, we're going to fight, then so be it. So if he moves up to 147, you know, we have to fight or we're going to fight and we start negotiating between our camps. And, you know, I'm not ducking anybody, you know, at 140, 147, 154, you know, wherever that I land at, you know, I'm not ducking anybody. So we, would you drop down to 40 or is that oh, something nah. like, no, no. I'm not I was just saying you're a pretty big guy, yeah. Yeah, I'm not dropping <laughs> down to 140. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm standing at 147. So talking about 154, is it supposedly Miguel Cotto and James Kirkland might go down? I know yeah. fellow Texan James Kirkland. What do you think about that fight? Is that a good fight? Uh, I don't think so. Right. You know, I think James Kirkland is kind of done right now. Mm -hmm. I think he's done, period. You know, but, and uh, Miguel Cotto is still a good fighter. So yeah. I see Miguel Cotto probably winning by stoppage. So Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin, it's a fight a lot of people are talking about. You think that one's going to happen? Oh, I think it's going to happen. I mean, it's not going to happen when everybody wants it to, like right now, but I think it's going to happen eventually. You know, you know I'm aging for Canelo to win that fight. I think Canelo beats him. What, what makes you give Canelo the edge in that one? Oh, um, I think Canelo's a lot stronger at 160. I don't think he had to suck down and wait to get to 154. I think he's stronger, faster, um, you know, just more energy, throwing more punches, and, um, you know, just the sucking down and getting to 154, you know, three pounds makes a big difference. No going away. Two, two pounds make a big difference, especially when you're going down so low. So I think at 160, you know, he's a better fighter. So tonight we had a, a rumble in the heavyweight division. Do you, yeah. do you watch a heavyweight division? Oh uh, yeah, I watch heavyweight. I watch some fighters in the heavyweight division. What did you think about Anthony Joshua's performance? Um, I didn't, I didn't see the whole fight, but I seen the results, and you know, he got the stoppage. So that was impressive getting the stoppage against, um, you know, Molina, which is a good fighter. It looks like he's getting ready to fight uh, Klitschko. I mean, yeah. they announced it and everything. What do you think about that fight? Um, I see him winning. I see, um, I see, I see him beat Klitschko. I mean, Klitschko is a little fighter, but I think he's a little pat. He is past his prime, and um, you know he's not that good anymore. And uh, you know, I just see um, him being the future of the other other heavyweight division. So Adrian Broner, I think he's got a fight coming up. I don't yeah. really remember. You know, he's had some issues outside of the ring. Do uh, you think he's going to be able to bounce back and, and make a nice comeback in the sport? Um, I mean, Adrian Brown is still young. It's not like he's an old fighter, like 35 years old. So, I mean, I can say if he, as long as he stay focused, you know, get get that hunger back and stay dedicated, you know, and focus on boxing, yeah, he definitely can bounce back. You know, because Adrian's a talented fighter. You know, he just had to get that dedication back.